Hi everyone. So as promised yesterday, I wanted to check in today and we're on day two of uh, getting the news about these layoffs and I'm sure like a lot of you, you're probably still processing and thinking about what's happened and um, it kind of prompted me to think about what I really wanted to share today and that's probably or at least more so um, that I've been noticing is um, just this overwhelming feeling of anxiety. And for those of you that maybe suffer with that, just to be open and transparent, I have suffered with anxiety, depression, PTSD since I was a teenager. And so certainly things like this can definitely spike that up. So, you know, the first thing that I really just wanted to share with you is, um, a little bit of a reminder from yesterday is that, you know, anything that you're feeling, your emotions, um, anything that you're processing is completely valid. So please, please give yourself some grace to just let it be what it is. Um, you know, this is, this is difficult to go through. And so, um, you know, for those of you that are maybe struggling with some of those symptoms, I, I of course just wanted to offer, um, you know, a few things that I know have helped me. And so, you know, one of those things is um, to do your best to try to get outside. And the reason I say that is that sometimes I think when we get this news, it makes us tired. It, it's mentally exhausting. It's physically exhausting. And it's easy to just want to stay inside or look on your computer or look over that severance letter, you know, or look at all the people that are posting things. Um, and it's just easy to kind of, you know, stay in your box. And so I would encourage you to get out, go out, go sit outside like I am right now, go for a short walk, um, just take some time to go outside and breathe. Um, and that kind of leads me to my second point of taking a moment to breathe. Um, I think sometimes when we're stressed, you may notice yourself taking shallow breaths or just not inhaling the way that you should. And it's important that we pay attention to that. And so whether that's through your meditation, if you do that, whether it's through prayer, you know, um, or even just taking a moment and just sitting and listening to your breath and intentionally trying to ensure that you're inhaling all the way, that you're exhaling all the way, that will definitely help you kind of find your center. Um, and, you know, that's something my, my husband tells me all the time, especially if I'm stressed or if I'm starting to squirrel out or just get frazzled is he's like, sweetheart, you know, find your center. And so, again, these are just some things that may help you do that. Um, and the third thing I just want to kind of remind everyone today is that don't lose hope. Um, you know, for myself, I um, have a very, very tight and close relationship um, with the Lord. I know some of you don't, and that's okay. Um, but He really um, allows me, through the faith that I have in Him, to have hope that this is just a moment in time. And so, you know, regardless of, of your religious background or how you feel, I do just want to encourage you with some truth in the sense that, you know, you woke up this morning, you took a breath, you're enjoying this day as the sun's going down, you're present and you're here. And that in itself gives you purpose. You are supposed to be here at this moment in time. And so just even in that, that simple act of just being present as a living creature, you have hope. Um, because there is something that you need to be doing here on this earth. And so hold on to that. Even if it's just just something just as simple as that. Hold on to the fact that I'm breathing in and out. I'm present. I'm here. There's a reason for this. And so, you know, even if it's just taking a moment to focus on the next five seconds um, so that you can see, okay, how am I going to get through the next five minutes without, you know, crying or without doing this? Again, let those emotions flow. Let it be what it is. But just try to remind yourself of what is true, that you are here, that you are present, and that you are worthy. And so, again, I just want to reiterate, your value and your worth um, are not tied to what's happening. And even what's happening right now is just a moment in time. It's a moment in your journey. And so even though at this moment it feels heavy and it feels 
difficult and it feels like, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to pay the bills or how am I going to find another job? And what about inflation? What about trying to take care of the kids? You know, they're getting ready to get out of school. I know all of those things are probably coming through your mind, but take a moment and give yourself that, that grace and that patience to say, you know what, I'm going to tackle this one day at a time. And at first, if that just means taking care of yourself to make sure that you're breathing, take that time. It's important. So I just want to leave you with uh, those words of encouragement, a few tips. I would love it if you would share maybe some things that you've been doing or that help you in this time. Share those in the comments because, um, you know, I certainly, things that work for me may not work for you. And I certainly don't have all the answers, but I at least wanted to put something out there in a positive light that can help you just make it through the next few moments the next day. So with that, I want to leave you, um, you know, with just the thoughts of positivity, with the thoughts of you matter, that you are valued, and that you are so worthy as a human being to be here. And that as you go through this journey, if you will allow it, it will bring you to a place that you probably never expected. And whatever is happening at this moment will prepare you for that next part of your journey. So please have a great evening. Please message me in the comments. Let me know if this is helpful. I would love to know how you're doing. And please, let's share with each other because together we can go through this. Um, regardless of the miles between us or what our roles were, um, you know, we can all benefit from the fact of, hey, I'm not the only one. And there may be something that someone shares that might be helpful to you. So please have a great night. I'll be thinking of each of you. And... I'll share some more tomorrow. All right. See you later.